This video is going to show you how to use graphic lists in darkroom booth software. So the first thing we'll do is take a look at a few examples. And you can see when you click on some different buttons on the screen that some of the graphics will change. And here's a green screen setup and you can see I'm just toggling the background. Okay, so how do these graphic lists work in Darkroom? Well, let's take a look at a sample I've got here. So I'm on a booth screen, and this is just going to be a basic. It's a green screen with a background. So I'm going to edit this border, and you can see I've got a few uh, things listed here. And just to show you the kind of the layers we've got, there's my live view, and it's set to chroma key. That's why it looks the way it does, so let me undo that. Um, when I go to this background, it says it's a graphic, but when I go, it's actually a list of graphics. So think of this as just a, um, you could think of it as layers or just a list. So when I edit it, you see that there's Road, Sky, and Tulum. And just like when you saw hitting the buttons, it alternated between those three. Um, those are in my list. And the other important thing to know is this graphic list has a name, and it's called Background. And the reason that's important is because when we go to our print template, if we want the graphic list to be synced, they have to have the same name. So basically, to get a graphic list, you just add artwork, and you tell it it's a graphic list, and then you can name it and add all the, the graphics you want. So now that we have our graphic list, I need to set up a button to toggle that background. So if I edit this, there are a couple commands that apply. There's choose graphic and there's next and previous. So if I just set this to next graphic, every time you hit the button, it's just going to cycle through the list of graphics. And I could have multiple gra bah. <laughs> I could have multiple graphic lists. In this case, I'm telling it which one I want to alternate. Um, the other thing you can do is you can actually tell it to go right to a graphic. So you can imagine if I had the actual um, pictures of Road, Sky, and Tulum, I could have them click on the picture that they wanted and I could tell it to go right to that file. So it gets a little complicated. You have to remember which one is first, second, and third. Um, and then if you want, you can have it where it automatically starts the photo booth session as soon as they click on that. And so that's it for the screen. Now if we look at our print template, um, and this one is just basic. I just have a um, 4 by 6 with a background. So again, I've got my photo. And again, it's set to chroma key. If it wasn't, I would know because I would just see the letter 1. So I'll undo that. And then again, I've got my graphic behind it. And it's not just a single graphic. It's a graphic list. And the key is, is that it has to have the same name. If this is a different name, then they're not going to sync up. As long as it's the same name, then when I choose, say, graphic number three on the screen for the photo booth session, that's what will be used in the printout. And that's pretty much all there is to it.